COSM still on that cruise control, but slowly but surely firing off little by little bullish signals. Let's go over the details so we can have an edge for Monday session. Actually, you know what? It's going to be Tuesday session. Be sharp, guys. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by once again. This is Arca coming at you with a COSM technicals, raw price action, and statistical threat of analysis on this fine Friday. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video with a friend so that you and them could consider joining our trading community in Discord called RCAB. With that said, let's dive right into the charts. Okay, yes, so COSM on the hourly chart here, and we're going to be taking a look at the ARC Cryptex indicators first, okay, you guys? So this is the DBSI indicator, which is, in, uh, which is a statistical indicator, actually, that takes a metric of every single candle printed on the sp on the particular time frame that we're in right so in this case it's the hourly and you can see that every single candle has been measured that measurement actually gives us a, a statistical value so that value appears as a percentage and as a bull or bear score right so it's located right up here and you can see that the bulls are now it's it's different from yesterday now it's uh now we're ahead so now the bulls are at 63 percent and the bears are at 37 percent okay so we are not honoring any type of sell signal as well as you know that dbsi actually has a buy signal and a sell signal so usually the buy signal is the blue and the sell signal is the red so as you can see we have not printed any sell signal yet and in fact another cryptex indicator is the arc enhanced macd which also has a bull signal here printed on the hourly chart and still has not given us a sell a sell signal yet okay so things are still looking pretty bullish for c OSM nonetheless I know that we've been I know that we've been on this like sideways trading thing but we've we've seen this you know for days uh, another thing is is that the uh, the hourly arc enhanced MACD is in in accordance actually with the arc armor as well which man so this is what I mean by plenty of signals firing off here here's the let me go ahead and just block off uh, uh, the enhanced MACD, right? So we can get the candles back into the normal color. So green and red. Okay, so here, yeah, you can see that arc uh, armor is giving us that long signal on this. This was printed just today. So this is a good thing, you guys. Still, uh, still looking, still looking good. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next chart and see what we have. Okay, so this is actually an image that I placed, uh, that I actually pasted on the Twitter and Discord and here on YouTube earlier in the morning uh, today. So I did mention to you guys that in, in the in case we do fail this very important $4.34 uh, demand zone, that there is a secondary support located right down here near the, near the 1 spot 618 at about... Uh, three dollars and eighty-seven cents. So the range actually is compiled by using these uh, candle highs as a type of uh, as a type of resistance, right? So the opening of this candle here, resistance, resistance, resistance. So the and support right down here. So you can actually see that we do have a relevant support in the event to where where we do uh, temporarily fail this here, just in case, right? Just in case as a fail safe, because if if uh, if we don't have these two things here, then we can actually capitulate down to the two dollar 86 cent zone and we don't want to do that just yet you guys but we did notice that we were going to be trading sideways for quite a bit and we're still doing that and we're still using that same little uh, <laughs> the same little gap as resistance that we closed on november 21st and november 22nd okay so <laughs> that's why i tell you guys it's important to leave some of those candles in place for future play right so let's go ahead now and move on to the next chart as this is going to be the statistical side of the analysis lots of curiosity built around the statistical side and why is that is particularly to the stage that cosm is setting up okay so in this case we are looking at momentum here now now you okay so you can see the trend line where i started drawing it right so yesterday we said we got our first kink and now again today we have another kink yet again okay so there could be this price action that just like for example does this right let's go ahead and grab a little box here and make and make this uh like an implied candle right we're just going to make it like this so i can give you a, vi a visual representation of what the possibilities can be uh while while making these moves right okay so just imagine that this is our uh that this is our next daily candle that we're in right so in order to for us to 
to, you know, it's still suggesting a little bit of a downside. Of course, less aggressive yet again, which only tells me that when we see the RSI is going to be suggesting more and more sideways again. Okay, so in this case, you can actually see that if we start the candle like this and pump downward and pump downward and recover and literally again and again and recover, that actually is pumping this lower and lower and lower and then we're gonna start making that pivot okay as we do this downward motion we get the lower end of the spectrum and as we do this upper recovery like this that pump to the upside literally this thrust like this not moving any anywhere further I'm not talking about any anything further than this point here at 474 I'm talking about the sheer pump from literally losing this and then gaining it back the pump of gaining this back is literally gonna start having us pump and pump and pump until it's ready okay so now uh, i know inversely you can say why wouldn't it act uh, another way inversely it's because i'm telling you that people if i see this people uh, people other pros are seeing it too okay so uh, as soon as as soon as this has that final recovery and we start making this pivot to the upside we can then start to apply that uh, 100 spot 378% move to the upside statistically based of course please remember that those are statistical metrics and they are not certainties okay so yeah 100 spot 378% move to the upside could be something that we can face as soon as momentum versus volatility correct okay so in this case we have now printed our first critical daily bar and I did mention literally in yesterday's in yesterday's video that if we can either start contracting stay within the area that we're in or ideally start printing these daily reads then we could actually start confirming that confirming that move okay so we're looking very good now we have our first daily bar of, of critical read so and now we have another little kink uh, another little kink here that's why I meant slowly but surely, okay? Cruise control right now, you guys. But things are looking good nonetheless for COSM. Let's go ahead and move on to the last part of the analysis as this is going to be the uh, the RSI, another momentum-based uh, analysis, okay? So in this case, please, new viewers, take a look at these four zones over here as, we'll, as I will be talking about them very often. Okay, so in this case, 30-minute immediate short-term time frame is uh, in a pretty good place from the bear, uh, from the bull weakness percentile. Pardon me. We do have a, uh, an upside continuation. And as you can see here that uh, the moving average has been used as a form of support. Moving average is a pink line, 14 day period. And the uh, purple line is the RSI signal itself. So, yeah, we're looking at a continuation to the upside, but ever so slightly. OK, you guys. So this is good that we have the moving average below us because we can actually use it as a guide and a support uh, uh, for the way up. OK, so the buy hourly time frame is suggesting a slightly, slightly bearish, <laughs> slightly bearish, you know, slightly bullish from the 14 day moving average. OK, as long as we do maintain ourselves in this shallow area of the bear weakness percentile we're likely to be gravitated right back into bear strength and then bounce back and forth since we do have that 14 day moving average right below <laughs> okay so sideways trading being suggested once again the same way literally what I was talking to you about just about two minutes ago on the momentum oscillator since it's pivoting so slowly more sideways trading due to come okay so yes look at here again so this is the six hour suggesting slight downside we have <laughs> we have the moving average below us still you know uh, I'm sorry we have the moving average above us still a little bearish okay so and the good thing is is that we're not so close to that uh to that pivotal point to where to where we can actually face uh capitulation to the downside okay we're not quite there yet on that on that deep area of the bear weakness percentile we're literally right up here so in order for us to have us be pressured to the downside we would want to get right into a lower a lower section of the bear weakness percentile okay you guys so now the daily time frame is suggesting some sideways trading right here as well we do have the 14 day moving average on top uh and it's just slightly bearish and then we have the rsi signals suggesting a slightly bullish outtake again 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 so this is literally what we've been talking about uh for the last few days about that grind uh, teeth grinding uh, sideways price action my apologies so that's still continuing okay but nonetheless the stage is being set just like uh in yesterday's video and we are moving according to plan okay so we're just gonna have to pra practice a little bit of patience here and see what can 
can happen for this coming Tuesday as there could be a lot of anticipation uh, built around the holidays. Okay, so the new year is going to start. The last day of trading this this year has been done. A lot of psychology can actually play into the next trading session. Okay, you guys, so please know that I'm not a financial advisor. Take whatever I do show and iterate within these videos as just a form of entertainment. Please uh, do your own DD and everything will be just fine, you guys. Okay, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I know it's taking me a little long to reply to some messages and some comments. It's just this. It's kind of building up a little bit, a little bit. Okay. Uh, another thing for you to notice is that there's a lot of uh, Arca imposters saying for you to text me and for you to WhatsApp me. Guys, I will never message you first and I will certainly not give my phone number out in any type of comment like that or on a direct message I, or ever. <laughs> okay, you guys. So please know that it's definitely not me. Don't fall for the scam artists. Make sure to keep that money. Make sure to keep that dry powder for better uh, for better situations, for better opportunities uh, upcoming, okay? All right, you guys, so that's, that's going to do it for this video uh, tonight, and I wish you well. I wish you a very good week and a happy new year, and I will catch you at the bell on Tuesday. Adios.